Let's go. It's a lot more fun once you figure out how to actually do the reeling in. <laughs> and I don't do that thing where I like caught them all the way yeah. to the surface first. Yeah, I mean, it works. It did work. I love the colors on that one too. It's doing that thing again. Damn, it's really gone. It's really gone. Stop. Stop it. I hate this fucking game. I'm sick of this fishing bullshit. No more fishing. Ah. Uh, no more. No more iPads. No more Golden Globes. Just bullshit. Yeah, what do you think about the Golden Globe Awards? <laughs> you I think big, they're great. Big fan, keeping up with them? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, I can't get enough of them. Can't get enough of those Golden Globes. Yeah, you know what? I'm just, oh, I f also I was peeking at the achievements in this. There's oh, yeah? an achievement for getting every fish in the lake. That's right. Yeah, fishing the because we have the Fishopedia, um, which shows us all the ones we've caught. But I think there's one not just for getting. So it's not for just for getting one of each type, but for getting literally like exhausting all of the fish really because they don't uh respawn unless you sleep so i think you oh, can just right. like god that'd be so time consuming i know we're not gonna do that unless unless Scallop. come on you know come in melbourne um, potato cakes are called potato scallops down there yeah i hate that that's such a strange it makes me, makes me oh, fucking sick it makes me seethe with hate but hate in your heart that's the departed. That's what the guy in the intro says. They'll put fucking hate in you. Who's your favorite performance in the departed? Jack Nicholson. Yeah, it's probably the best. What about when he has the hand at the breakfast? When he has oh yeah. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. He's waving it around. Um I don't want my mysteries to be under Lake Ophelia. <laughs> I want Lake Ophelia to be under my mysteries. No, that's bad. I'm gonna do when that you again. got a fishing rod in one hand <laughs> and a fish in the other, what's the difference? I can't really do it, but I like him. I'm just an admirer, not an impersonator. Yeah, but an I do know the admirator. Admirator. Oh, bullseye. 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 And These guys the, don't resist, I am do the, they? Their lame French voice from SpongeBob. <laughs> that's not bad. It is me. Uh, Gulagoon. That's Tom Kenny's voice, isn't it? Is it? I believe so. He's the the voice actor. I can't believe they killed Tom Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> they took him out back. <laughs> did Tom Kenny ever do South Park stuff? I'm sure he did. Maybe. He's probably... I don't know. He was in Adventure Time. I know that. Who was he in Adventure Time? The Ice King. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. I don't know why I tried Not to a big it. fan of Adventure Time, to be honest. I kind of like it, but I didn't get into it as much as like regular show and other stuff. Yeah. I liked regular show. I just, I don't like uh, things for kids because well, I'm an adult. Well, yeah, but this is a show that came out while I was like 12. Yeah, but still, you should have known. Should have known better. <laughs> what about when I was 12, I was like, I'm going to be an adult someday. So why bother? Why start now? When you got a SpongeBob in one hand and an Ophelia in the other. What's the difference? Uh, yeah, The Departed. What do you give it out of five? How many um, popcorn shakers? I don't know. I'd probably say between a three and a four. Like, it's good. I think it's, like, objectively quite a good movie. I just wasn't really as gripped by it. I do yeah. love how um, the opening monologue, like, Jack Nicholson's just, like, going on a rant about how he doesn't like black people, and then there's, like, not a single black person in the rest of the movie. It's not even brought up at all. It's not even part of the movie. Yeah, it's not relevant at all. Yeah. I saw recently-ish um, Mean Streets, like Scorsese's first oh, feature. Yeah. I thought it was really good. I really liked it. I haven't seen it. Um, it has, what's his name? Oh, I'm going to forget his name. The guy in Men in Black. Tommy Lee Jones? Yes. No, Sicky about him. No, is it Tommy Lee Jones? It's not yeah. Tommy Lee Jones. He plays the other no. guy. Well, Will Smith. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I'm. Th I've just gotten it wrong. I don't think it's actually the guy from Men in Black. Oh, right. Why am I? Th I've. I'm having such a blank. Uh, it's like Hugh Jackman, Hugh Laurie, Hugh Laurie driving down the street. 
No, fuck. Ah, this is going to bug me now. Can you look up Mean Streets? Sure. Can you look up who the lead in Mean Streets? It's just going to come up with pictures of streets that are mean. Tommy Lee Jones. It's not Tommy Lee Jones. It's fucking the other one. It's not even the guy in Men in Black. That's what pisses me off the most. Harvey Keitel. Harvey Keitel. Yeah, that's it. And he plays like a guy. He plays a gangster who's trying to fix Robert De Niro, who's just a bit of a loose cannon. I can fix him. Yeah, it, it is an I can fix him movie. I really like it. He's like, oh, he's my friend. You know, let, just give him one more chance. And he keeps on doing stupid shit. It's nice. a really good movie. And I think that Scorsese fella has a bright future ahead of him. He's I think make so a lot too. Of movies. Did you like The Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, I like it. I thought it was really good. I've, I've really seen, seen it a couple it times. Recently, actually, as well. I yeah. think I had recently just like a Scorsese. Like, I was always like, I don't really care about him. Did he do uh, Scarface? No, that's... Uh, um, What's his name? Who did... He did uh, Scarface and uh, Carlito's Way. Oh, well, fuck me. I guess I don't know. Uh, You would know him. You would know the name. I wouldn't. You would. Scorsese. Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. His brother. Al Pacino. uh, Hua. This is really fun. This is a really good type of content as well. Trying to think of names. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Who directed Scarface? Ooh. Just Google it. It's also one of the most like obvious directors of all time. I didn't realize Scarface was like a movie from the 30s as well. There's like an OG Scarface. Oh yeah, it was like a remake. There's a new it's one a coming out this year, I think, or soon. Hmm. By Luca Guadagnino, the guy who did um Call Me by Your Name. They're gonna make it work. They're gonna make work face. face. I don't think Luca Guadagnino is particularly woke. Um, he's the opposite yeah he's on he's yoke he's broke what's the opposite of woke broke shoke i'm gonna i think i'm gonna double down on wokeness this year it's kind of cool new year's resolution now it's kind of like it was a bit lame for a bit but now it's actually kind of like i'm sick of i don't know if i hear just like annoying right-wing people on tiktok being like i'm fighting woke i want to get i'm gonna get into um twitter politics this year I think that's a good a healthy thing i think it's a very people. healthy thing honestly though if i if i hear anyone say the term woke unironically i'm just gonna like lose it once and for all that's gonna be it well the thing like i say it as a joke you know to be woke cards on the table i say it as a joke because it's funny but when you see people it's like a like a facebook thing with like boomers and stuff and they're like the woke agenda and all that sort of thing it's kind of funny but it also just like pisses me off what part Ooh. pisses you off? Just them being... Just old people. Yeah. But I get... The thing that pisses me off is it's like... Like complaining about something that actually doesn't impact your life at all. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing that's bizarre. That's what the work agenda oh, wants you to think. Those are hard to fight. The, the Marlins? Yeah, they are. They're tricky. Yeah, they Can are, I have yeah. another one of those chews? Yeah, sure. You know what I think? Choose rule. They're, they're someone else's choose. Really? Yeah. I've had a few of them already. There's like three left. I'm going to start chewing just so that it's... You have, I'm, this is my last one. The audio is unusable. I'll chew in the mic for a bit. Mmm. Mm. That's so, so grapey. Oh, so grapey. At this rate, we're never going to finish Mysteries Under Lake of Philo. That's all right. You know what? I can live with that. I can go to my grave being fine. About the not finishing Mm -hmm. mysteries. Well, I'm going to go sell some fish, I think. Yeah. We can at least get the rods. The rod and the the lure. I hope. Spare the rod. Spare me the rod. Spare me the rod. Is that David Bowie? Uh, yeah. Spare me the rod. I can't do it. Spare me the rod, little boy, and I'll spare you something more valuable. It's life in an orb. Which era of uh, David Bowie is that? It's me being David Bowie from the whatever. The future. David Bowie from the past. David Bowie from the future. I wasn't on Epstein's flight logs. 
I promise. Mm. Was he? Was he actually though? I don't think he was. He uh, did have a relationship with a child though. He had a relationship with a child, and that child was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Who's older? Uh, that's a, I actually have no clue. I think Probably Michael, dead Bowie. Yeah, actually, I think so. He was born in the 40s, whereas MJ, I think, was born in the 50s. Do you think of MJ as E-M-J-A-Y? MJ. A- yeah. MJ. Sounds like a slur. <laughs> Fucking uh, MJ. That's not where I was going at all with well, that. I wasn't wanting to. Well, I wasn't intending to. And I wasn't even pretending to. So I don't know what you're talking about. You're skipping the dialogue. But there's no more. Oh, selling the thing at the bottom of the lake? The mystery. Oh, that wasn't as much money. Yeah. We're so close. So close. Let's just Uh, You know what? I think skip the classic fish lure. I'm skipping the lure. That's it. I'm skipping the lure. Actually, mm, it's not going to help. It's like worse than this one. But I think the thing that it can do is go a little bit deeper, which is what we need to get the last. I don't know. One. Okay. All right. I don't know. Hey, man, you know what you're doing? I don't, but I know. I don't, but I do. I have a hunch. I don't really know where I should be aiming all this fishing now. We need 300. Let's go. Let's just do. Let's go to our old friend, the cave. I reckon, cave does, yeah. I think we can get 300 bucks Get some out of consistent cave. cash out of there. Oh, I said I was going to cook the scallops, but I didn't at all. It's okay. We always, we forget things. We get forgetful in our old age. Yeah. I have to say, this is a really fun game to just play. Yeah? Yeah. It's got Quite a relaxing. really nice feeling to the hands. Good game feel. Yeah. It's a safe game. It's well safe. Can I hit above there? Oh, you know, I reckon. I didn't even think of that. No, I don't think I can. Uh, there might be a certain angle. Like it if you aim at the waterfall. Me... Yeah, if I... Oh. You can at least see what's up there, if anything. No. Uh, maybe. Not a whole lot up there. I don't know. Oh. Don't shoot the messenger. Two at once. Oh. I don't think you can get two at once. In real life, you can. Ooh, that, that, uh, that put a bubble in my throat. That thing. That was a bubble. That chewy thing put a bubble in my... A <laughs> bubble in my ass. It put a bubble in my throat. It put a bubble in my ass. Come on, man. They put a bubble in my throat, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Corn pot put a, he put a bubble in my throat. Oh, wait. Oh, what have you found there? Eh? Oh, there's a lure there. Another lure. There's been two lures in this plot part of town. In this part of town? Going around town. What's the SpongeBob line? Around town. That's it, I think. That's it. Just going around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Remember, it's got a bit of magnetism. But not that much, I don't think. Nah. You got to aim a little to the left. You got to aim a little bit at Erica. Fuck. A little bit of Eric. Is that what you were referring yeah. to? It was pretty lame. I think like there? Oh, that's perfect. I think that's going to be just enough to suck it in. Yeah. I'm so impressed. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, you got yeah, it. It went through. Oh. oh, it's even worse. That's got good attraction, though. It's got good... Oh, it doesn't go deep. Oh, so it's it's for using, like, ponds oh, like this. yeah. So it really is attractive. Pond scum. I can see the plosive in the, the audacity then when I said pond. Pond. Nothing but scum of pond, dear. Pay it no mind. I like it, though. It's kind of a cool character. Yeah. This is fucking infuriating. His name's Peeb. He's named... I don't think you're actually going to reach the pond from there either. I think it's because it's only a one. It's like so low that you got to... You got to go... You got to go right by the water's edge. Right by the water's edge. No, the one doesn't have to do with the distance on the surface. 
The distance o- o- across the surface I can cover is determined by the... By the rod. By the rod. Yeah, no, but I mean the depth. Yeah, but that's perfect. Look, for picking up these bad boys. Yeah. They love it. Is that a piranha? piranha? Yeah, yeah, we caught one of them before. You did, sorry. Yeah. Piranha. I would like to get credit for every fish caught. Well, you this, caught all. I, I caught a lamprey and that's all. In this digital game. In how many hours of this game we've played, I've only caught one lamprey. Do you want to play some more? No. Really? No, I'm just going to slow things down. <laughs> I think that's go impossible. Without me. Have we caught one of these guys before? Yeah, we have. Oh, jeez. A little snapper. Yeah, the they're Red tough snapper. eh you're a tough eh oh you're a tough eh you should come play for the Toronto Bluebacks or whatever <laughs> the fucking <laughs> the Toronto Blue Jays well that's actually what they're called ignore that yeah the, I actually yeah I just realized why I said Blueback I was trying to think of like a made up hockey team the Toronto Ice Wheelers <laughs> the Vancouver I don't want to say the Ottawa Ottawans. <laughs> the Ottawa Ottawans. The Ottawa Octavians. The Canada Canadians. That's the national team. The criminals. This what is do you, what, going pretty deep. It is pretty deep, isn't it? What do you think is like the the least interesting sports team name? Uh that's a hard question. What about in baseball? We'll keep it to baseball. Probably Yankees, right? It's just the eh. the New York team. They all have names. I guess that's not too bad. Mm. I feel like the Oakland A's have a pretty bad name. I think it's the not. Athletics? It's an iconic name. It's but it's not inherently bad, but it's just a bit on the dull side. Just uh, yeah, af- athletics. I yeah, yeah, I know. I, I I feel you with that one. I don't know which ones I'm. I don't know which ones are boring. I'm trying to think in like NRL. Are there any really boring NRL teams? Mm. Like I'm thinking in my head, I'm thinking a team that like doesn't even have like a nickname. It's just like New York, you know. Well, obviously yeah. in in football, it's um the Giants. The Jets. Oh, I thought it was the Jets. Oh, it might be. The, they might have another team. Then maybe there are they two have two New teams, York teams in baseball. Yeah, greedy bastards. They're Mets. Um, my parents have some friends from New York and they're really big Yankees fans. And they're oh, like, yeah? why aren't you a Yankees fan? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not brain damaged. <laughs> That's such a weird question to ask though. I think it's just because it's like they have all the money. What are you talking about? They've got that. the best yeah. players. I think that's really terrible reasoning. Yeah. They're the, the New York team. It's like they're not even the New York team. There's the Mets. If I was going to go for a New York team, I'd be fucking Mets all the way. Mr. Met, me I'd up. be the the Brooklyn Dodgers, but they don't exist anymore. They're in L.A. Yeah, they true. Jackie Robinson. Yeah, true. Same last name as me. I also, yeah, I also feel like when a team relocates, it's no longer the same team. You can't claim it's a ship of Theseus problem. I think kind of, but I think it's not a problem. It's just like that's the the L.A. Dodgers are just we got not a problem. The Brooklyn Dodgers. It's a different team. troll face problem. You hurt, bro. No, I I um I agree. That's my that's my my metaphysics of teams. But a lot of people that supported the team before they changed locations still support them though. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I can imagine being someone like there are some cases of people who go like, well, that's not my team anymore, and then pick some other team. I don't know. I just feel like that. What's the what is the similarity bet- that would allow you to call the Brooklyn Dodgers the same thing as the LA Dodgers? A name? I don't know. Yeah, a name. That's pretty much it, I think. What's in a name? A rose by any other name. Is it meant to be like a little tooth or something? I don't know. It's just like a little guy with feet. That's what I... Like with eyes and... Yeah. Like, it's a little nose. I'm going to try and sell all the fish I have so far and just pray to God that it's $300 worth. And I hope to God I sell you're the fish. You're not as dumb as you make out. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But I was doing my own version about fish... Oh, it's an orange rockfish. See, I'm learning the names. It's orange juice fish. It's the band orange Orange juice, Juice, the fish. When I was sick, I had like two liters of OJ. It made me feel good inside. There is something about having orange juice when you're sick that is nice. It's fine. I like um, McDonald's orange juice. I don't know what it is. It's just because it's like 90% sugar. It's 90% sugar. It's also like there's something like a chemical taste in it that's really nice. 
I you seem like, like the sort strong. of person that likes an, a real big fry up when you're hungover. I like I like McDonald's breakfast when I'm hungover. Because I can't eat anything when I'm really hungover. I need but to I, eat But when lot. I recover a bit, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could I could go for something. I need first thing to just, like, That's crazy. eat as much as possible to stop myself from throwing up. I know it sounds kind of counter. I think, you know, I think the actual reason for me being a bit different is because I'm diabetic and alcohol has got a lot of sugar in it. Um, because it makes my blood sugar so high, it means, I, like, I can't eat. You have to lay I have off. To, like, yeah, yeah, I have to, like, purge and drink water. True. I forgot about your affliction. You were cursed by a, my, a witch my, when you were young with the yeah. With and, pipe. I, I was in I was in the Carolinas in an orb went in my mouth. Please be enough to buy the thing that I wanted to buy. Please, thank you. I think that is enough. It is. Oh yeah, let's go. You got an achievement. Every fishing rod. Oh, I slept. Oh, I shouldn't have slept because I wanted to see the fish. The nighttime fish. The mystery. Let's do it. And the sunken maiden. And it's turning night. We're going to beat. No, it's it's sunrise. We just oh, slept. fuck. I... We're going to beat. Do it, does yeah. it have to be night? Yeah. Shit. That's when the green goo comes out. The green goblin. That's when the green goblin comes out. And the green ghoul comes you out. You know what? I'm something of a scientist myself. You know, I'm something of a goblin myself. I love Willem Dafoe. I saw Poor Things uh, last night. At the night. Cinema. It's the new uh, Yorgos Lanthimos movie. He did The Lobster and The Favourite. Yeah, I don't know. Movies. But it's Emma Stone and Willem Dafoe, and Willem Dafoe is really good in it. Mm. So is Emma Stone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen stills. So, yeah. Are you sure it's sunrise? It feels not very sunrisey. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby. Yes, baby. Straight yeah, into sunset. it. Maybe it was the time was going. During- oh, yeah, true. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, right in the green. You can hit anywhere on the map with this thing. Yeah. Um, what if we What if we beat the game in, like, five minutes? Or just stitch this it This episode the will be five minutes long. Well, no, you just stitch it on the other one. No. You don't have to. It has to be separate. It no. doesn't have to be separate. No, you're right, you're right. We just started recording. Whoa. We're in. Oh, that, I don't like this. Can I go back? Yeah, let's do it again so that we don't talk about... I don't talk about stupid things while we're getting into the end. No, go back. Oh, do you actually want me to? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, but it was so beautiful. Well, we'll see it again and pretend we haven't that seen it. That was so beautiful. Oh, I can't return. Oh, I guess we're, we're going in. Oh, it's I, I'm stuck. That's all right. We can. That's scary. I feel like this is the first time I've been locked in. Locked in syndrome. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that I can't see anything. I ruined it. I'm so sorry. After all this time faffing around and I ruin it. I'm really scared now. Are you sinking? We're sinking. Or are you reeling up? No, we're sinking. Look at this big structure. Whoa, I can't really see, but (laughs) take your word. Can you not? It's very faint. It's pretty dark. Oh. Oh, it's loading. Jump scared by a <laughs> Jump goblin. scared by a loading screen. By an imp. Oh, Is this poor it? poor kid. Have we done it? I guess so. He's, he's like farting. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. I don't know what the background Peak is. Peak of like comedy. Little amoebas. They're like, are they fish? They're fish, aren't they? Oh. oh that's cool that's my that's my like that um ai like uh deep dream yeah it's that thing. early ai oh it's that early ai oh it's that new new it's kind of it is kind of cool. horrifying is that the mystery under like i feel it well it's not i guess over it's, yet. It's, it's, no, it's not over yet how do you like it so far i'm liking it <laughs> oh look at him go He's getting sucked in. He's getting sucked off. Where's Whoa. he gonna go? He's his his vision is vibrating. This is cool. It's kind of. 
What's kind of horrible to look at? What is, what is, how do you pronounce it? Is it trypophobia, trypophobia? I have no clue. Something like that. You know what I'm talking about. We're talking about that being a made up. Yeah. Like a Reddit disease. (laughs) Like Crohn's disease. Reddit is a disease. (laughs) Like cancer. (laughs) A cancer of the mind. What? What does he come across? Has he come across some sort of eldritch horror? Uh, he's come across some sort of mystery. Another loading screen? This is where the game starts. This is where the real mysteries begin. Oh, he's made out of silly putty. <laughs> silly putty. Silly putty. Oh, no. It's turned into a creepy bastard. <laughs> with the shitty VHS filter. The world's collapsing. Is it an egg? Is alien? He's our alien. Oh, that was oh, it. That was it. That was good. Yeah. Round of applause. Nice. I like that. Well that was kind of. It was a little bit spooky at the end. Yeah. I think I had a vibe Ambiguous. that it was going to be spooky just based on the the content warning. The oh, actually, that was actual VHS. Oh, was it? I had a conversion credit. Oh, whoops. And look at me saying it was some shitty filter. Bye. See ya. For now. I just want to say a few words about our adventure. Those, that we've was been the through mystery. some trials and tribulations. But that's it. We've, we can now we've, find We've done it. Yeah. Yeah, we can put this aside. We can. We've uncovered the mystery under Lake Ophelia. What if the mystery under Lake Ophelia was... Uh, the friends we made along the way. Oh, it had a trypophobia <laughs> did it, That's yeah. what that was? It um, had a philosophobia trigger what's warning as well. philosophobia? That's like a f- the fear of the sea. Oh, that makes sense. A sea game. Oh, I was just going to say, um, what if the mystery under Lake Ophelia was Steamboat Willie? That could be a funny bit. That could be a funny bit. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Love you.